What's up YouTube, it's Zapdos TCG here and welcome back to our TCG video on my channel. On this channel you get daily Pokemon TCG content, so be sure you are subscribed so you don't miss out. On the menu today, Scarlet and Violet base set. We're uh, opening up this booster box early so you guys can see what's going on with of course the brand new uh, yeah, Scarlet and Violet set with EXs returning into the format. We also have of course the mechanic of tool cards now being their own category instead of being item cards and much more. So uh, we're gonna be uh, of course opening up Scarlet and Violet and the cool thing is with Scarlet and Violet is that they come with silver borders so we're gonna have to say goodbye to the yellow border Pokemon cards ever since the base set so uh, we see here they are uh, going to be uh, beginning a new adventure with Pokemon EX set out to your journey in the Paldea region uh, yeah we have your starter Pokemon meet some powerful legendary Pokemon like Coridon and Maridon all our Pokemon EX evolve uh, yeah their way into battle including Arcanine and Gyarados with dazzling new look uh, yeah, unfortunately the terrestrial forms are not that cool but this is a uh, we're gonna be seeing the uh, Pokemon on the side so the terrestrial forms are actually just having bench barrier and with Manaphy in the format uh, that's just pretty awkward starting Pokemon super cool my favorite is of course quickly uh, the uh, duck Pokemon because yeah it looks so cool reminds me of the DuckTales in some way so uh, let's uh, get the wrapper off and let's just get this going so uh, with Coridon on the front here you're just opening up the booster box like that and there's a cool thing is you're gonna be seeing in this set is that um, they actually come with two reverses in every pack and also one hollow if I'm not mistaken. So let's just uh, dive into this video already with the first pack and let's see if we can pull some amazing cards. Okay, so as you can still see, they come with TCG Live code cards. They have changed nothing about the code cards whatsoever and uh, TCG Live is still a little bit of a mess here and there. So let's hope they fix that in the future because otherwise people will be uh, yeah very nostalgic for TCG online. I will need these to of course make content but uh, yeah oh no now that I think about it uh, I'll be giving them away regardless let's go here you go uh, yeah just scan them in I don't know if, who is gonna be scanning them in but I personally do not need them since you can craft cards on TCG live right or at least that's what they're telling me. So the card trick is one energy and then uh, the hollow to the back with the two reverses on top, right? I guess so. So uh, yeah, yeah, that's the new card trick. So you have on the back an energy, then uh, the rare card, and then two uh, reverses like this. Okay, let's go. A cool looking card, as you can see, uh, silver borders are now a part of uh, the Western world as well. Watch roll. Krokorok. Mankey. Is that Krokorok a common? That's crazy. Stage one being a gun, Mankey. Squackabilly. So as you can see, their own category. Tool cards are now, uh, yeah, with the purple here. And uh, that does indicate that uh, you cannot find them with Mew from Celebrations, with Pokestop, with Irida, etc. They are their own category. Drivblim. Nazball, very fantastic reprint all the way back from Sun and Moon. Searching a basic, so now we have the energy and then two reverses. Yeah, it's, it's strange. We have two reverses. We have the uh, Crockler. And the pal pad, the, the patterns on them also look super beautiful in my opinion. And then the rare card is Armor Rouge, very similar to Quagsire of Dragon Majesty. But then for fire types, you can move uh, as often as you like energies from the bench to the active. Very cool for sure because you can uh, combine this with Magma Basin. So I assume that every single uh, pack will contain a hollow, but that is not quite confirmed yet. So we're gonna be figuring that out together while we dive into the set. Also, my apologies for not pronouncing all of these uh, Pokemon correctly. I have not completed Scarlet and Violet, unfortunately. I don't have the time for it. And uh, yeah, let's just hope I can pronounce them correctly. So as mentioned, we have the energy, we have the rare and the two reverses like this. Let's go. We have, what is this? I have never seen this creature in my life. Flittle, Fucoco, starting Pokemon. There is Drowsy, there is Nimona, just pretty much hot, draw tree. Floatzel, Team Star Grunt with some disruptive elements, put an energy from your opponent's active on top of their deck. This is very bad because uh, they will draw into it again. So unless you can loop this infinitely, there's a lot of decks with energy acceleration as well. And you don't discard them, you just put it on top. So that's not great. Uh, Lucario, fan favorite. And then we have the energy. And two reverses, we have Lechonk, everybody's favorite little pig. 
and Shopet as a second reverse, so two reverses. I, I still find that strange to believe. And the rare is Rubber Room, a hollow. This is actually great because it's having uh, some comparisons would be Barrel. You discard an energy from hand and then you can draw cards until you have six. It's also a stage one with a lot of HP. So this is a great competitive card. I'll lay it over here. So that is our second hollow. Let's lay them all together. Uh, I think every pack contains a hollow. Yeah, that's, that's something uh, people told me, but uh, I couldn't believe it. Does that mean that cards are now more expensive? Will they get more expensive? Well, the cool thing is that you at least get two reverses and a hollow in every single pack. That's crazy. Okay. At least that's what I think, right? Regular rares? Is that a thing from the past? We have Gapsa Kids. What kind of creature is this? Alamomola. We have Paumo. Toad School. Pachirichu. This Pokemon can be paralyzed. Okay. Picnic Basket, heal 30 from each of your Pokemon, uh, both yours and your opponents. Okay, the cool thing is with this, you have some uh, protection uh, against Lost Box that wants to spread, like uh, more in particular, Sableye. Bombardier, wow, crazy bird. Metal Energy, we have Tand Mouse. Paumi, and a rare is Klefki. Yes, there we go, Klefki. Mischievous Luck, very great, you can of course uh, if this is in the active spot, every basic uh, in play except for Klefki has no ability. So that means say goodbye to Genesec drawing bazillion cards, say goodbye to uh, uh, Confei looking at the top cards and uh, flower selecting and loss turning and all that stuff. Yeah, that's what I figured. So this is a great hollow. These are all great hollows to be honest. There are all, I might see some play eventually. Okay, LeChonk is back. Oink. There is Flabebe. Growlithe, there's that Staravia, Rock Chest Blade, C C Titan. I have no clue. Flaffy, Energy, First Reverse, Magneton. Then there is a uh, Houndoom, and the rare is Dondozo, 160 HP basic, slaps 50 damage for every Tatsugiri in your discard pile. So, very Playable hollows, I would say. So I am definitely not mad with the pulls we had so far. Next up, another pack. So a uh, hollow in every pack. I like it. So uh, that doesn't mean, oh, I have nothing. You at least always have that beautiful, beautiful hollow. We have Rodom. Jetsy. Rare candies back. Fido. No. Beach Court, fantastic stadium card, helps out Lost Box, helps out Mariah and EX decks. One retreat cost last, aka Sky Arrow Bridge in disguise. This is great, I'll put it over here. Sandaconda back with a ridiculous attack cost. There's that water energy. Bombardier. Oh wow, look, it's the gold lightning power energy. They have golden energies again. I did not realize this. So now it's a good time to talk about uh, the sponsor of today's video, Dragon Shield. Dragonshield.com has of course products to protect your cards, your sleeves, bind yeah, they have sleeves, binders, deck boxes, anything you want to protect your beautiful cards. I'm personally a big fan of yellow, so I'm having these yellow uh, matte sleeves. So go check out the links down below if you want to have some uh, Dragon Shield products yourself. Uh, and the rare is, uh, oh actually the hollow, this is in the reverse lot by the way, this is crazy. And DD, not that great. Oh wow, look at that, a fantastic golden lightning energy, wow, that's so sick. Okay, let's continue on with this adventure. Wow, that, I did not expect that, I'm from every single type of energy, I of course admire the uh, lightning energy the most. I'm getting used to the card trick by now, so uh, we have Ralts. This is a bad roll. There are better rolls out there. I know Gardevoir is like insanely busted with its ability, but you need better rolls. There's the uh, Tandem Mouse. Pokegear is back, so uh, get those secret rares from... I don't even know which that it was from. It was the Unbroken Bonds, correct me if I'm wrong. Youngster, shuffle your hand to your deck, draw five. This is like Shauna in disguise. Blizzy with 150 HP, slapping 150 damage. Jack, uh, search your deck for up to two evolution Pokemon and put them in hand. This could be like Lumineon Jack, and then you have Ultra Ball, but it's probably better to use Burnett in the Lugia deck. Reverse number one is Wiglet. Reverse, oof, what is this? This is a uh, Tarantula, Tarantula, yeah. With uh, a Scyther, this is a, 
an alt art, I would say, or hey, this is crazy. And the rare is, is it? Yeah, look at that. It evolves from Tarantula. This is great, right? The 40 HP little body goes into this Spidob's EX. And now we can talk about Spidob or actually EXs in general. EXs are, of course, uh, two prize Pokemon and uh, they need to evolve from their uh, respectful Pokemon. So that means uh, this is a stage one EX. That means the little buddy over here transforms into this one and uh, they can get a huge amount of HP, better attacks, etc. But they give up two prize cards. Some EXs can also be basics like Maridon and I like how they like sparkle. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but this looks pretty. Spit ups, EX joins the video right here. Okay, the uh, hollows, let's put them all, group them all a little bit together, folks. Let's all group together. I like the clef keys on those, though. These are actually great cards. Stadiums can hear over my Blacephalon. Blacephalon is just so fantastic. You have no idea. All right, I think that's great. Basic lightning energy. Yeah, seems to be great. Seems to be doing the trick quite well. Okay, let's continue on with more bush packs. The Dubs EX is the first EX of the box. I don't know how many EXs are in a box, but let's uh, figure that out together. I don't know if I have to uh, sleeve this one up as well, but it looks super pretty. <laughs> let's go. The Dene. The Dene used to be like the thing in competitive scene with the Dene GX. Fucoco Caddy. Stuff your hands to your deck. Draw eight. Your turn ends. Oof, this is bad. This is bad. The opponent will then Iona you out of crazy. People don't know what Iona does. You're about to get notified with the upcoming set. So for now, Electric Generator. This is a fantastic item card. Look at the top five cards of your deck and then you can attach two basic lightning energy to find there to your bench lightning Pokemon in any way that you like. So pretty much a busted Max Elixir for lightning Pokemon. This is gonna be the bread and butter for uh, the Maridon decks out there. That is going to, uh, of course, be at the top tables. Professor's Research. There's two research all arts in here. We have Professor, Turo, and then the other professor that I don't know the name of, uh, Cloucher. And Halucha is great. This is like Zigzagoon, Galarian. Yeah, Galarian Zigzagoon Pink from Sword and Shield. Now uh, it's even more busted. You slap it down, select two of your opponent's bench Pokemon, and uh, yeah, they both get one damage counter. Unfortunately, Scoop Up Net is gone. It is completely gone. As you can see, all these hollows are actually looking very cool. They are looking very cool for sure. Let's put these alt arts over here so you guys can check along, see what is going on. These are like the most um, interesting cards from the set for now. So you guys have a little bit of an understanding of what is competitively viable and what you need to keep. Also, I had just put all the uh, fantastic arts over here, but uh, hollows that are not important, you'll of course notify, you'll get notified instantly. So we have Palmy, Smoliv, Wiglet. Grivart, Floragato, Zangoose, Stonejourner, there is a basic fire energy, reverse number one is Torkoal Torkoal, yeah shout out to you Carl, <laughs> all right we have Rotom, and King Gambit, King, King, Ab King Abit, yeah King Gambit, Ambit, I don't even know how to pronounce it, it's not that good regardless, so don't worry about it in the slightest. All these cards, there's how many cards are actually in a pack? Are there more cards than, yeah, there are two reverses, right? Two reverses is crazy. Only one EX so far, but uh, we did get that golden lightning energy, which I'm very happy about. Okay. I wonder how, what the full art of the box will be. Drowsy, Nimona. Lechonk, Fla Baby, watch me whip, Fla Baby, <laughs> what trio, Judge, very strange looking Judge, I prefer the one from Lost Thunder, or maybe the one from Her Gold Soul Silver, uh, Staravia, Few Coco, and Professor's Research, it is Professor Sada, all right, look at that, she looks totally badass, this is a research you want in your deck, cool, I already have Brazilian research, now you have the choice between Professor Oak, Professor Rowan, Professor Sada, Professor uh, whatever. There's so many professors. Professor Research is everywhere. Professor Juniper, still probably my favorite Professor Juniper. Brings me back of the black and white days. 
What is this? Machif Spoopa Metachite Energy Surge Penny it Reminds me of the Big Bang Theory Penny is actually great You can pick up a, a basic Pokemon And all cards attached into your hand It's gonna be great with the Mimic UV uh, Quaxwell Energy Reverse number one is Ultra Ball Reverse number two is Nimona And the Rare Wolf It is Arcanine EX I don't know how to feel about Arcanine EX as you can see, the terrestrial ability is here that uh, this Pokemon cannot get damaged while it's on the bench. They need to change that up because it's a pretty boring effect to have. Like in the days of the uh, Omega or Delta's uh, abilities, they, they actually had way better things. Than, and also Arcanine is not the greatest card ever. I know we have, of course, Magma Basin to power it up. You're slapping a huge amount of damage. Might even pair it up with Armor Rouge. Eh, but 250 damage. And you have to discard energies. I wish we had Welder. <laughs> Who else misses Welder? Let me know in the comments down below. Growlithe to go along with that Arcanine. Let's go a little bit quicker. We've seen most of the arts already. Tender Mouse. Mir Miriam. Let's talk about Miriam, shall we? Miriam. Okay, Miriam is a fantastic uh, recovery card. Shuffles five Pokemon, or actually up to five Pokemon from the discard pile back into your deck and then you draw three cards. You can draw into your uh, puzzle pieces back again. Very great in decks like Gardevoir EX, which has a lot of Pokemon uh, yeah, that of course gets knocked out. You can of course get them back because you're relying on the Gardevoir line. Could be nice for an updated Reggie deck to get your stuff back because Ordinary Rod has rotated. Although Super Rod is on the horizon, but I'll still lay it down here, Miriam, Lucario, Zangu's energy, reverse number one is Shroomish, Ralt, and then woof, speed ups, EX, full art, okay, there we go, I want to see these full arts in action, yeah, the full arts are uh, pretty much the same, they have the, uh, the texture, yeah, cool speed dubs, <laughs> this Pokemon seems to be popping up a lot, so we have doubling up on the speed ups, all right, why the hell not? Doubling up on speed ups. I wonder how many X are actually in a box. We'll figure it out together, folks. Okay, we have some grammar action. Broxious, Cacnea, Sandal, EXP share, as mentioned, their own classification of trainer card. Not an item, it's a tool. Silazar, Energy, Medicham, Defiant Band, which actually allows you to slap 30 more damage if you are uh, behind in prize cards. So uh, if you are behind in prize cards, you can slap 30 more damage to your opponent's active. And then the rear is Houndstone. Not a big believer of this card, so let's just continue. All right. We want to see Maridon EX or Gardevoir. These are the cards we are actually uh, desperately looking for in uh, this base set of Scarlet and Violet. Wow, we look at this cute Pokemon. It is Satoddle, Poundyard, and then Quaquavel, allowing you to accelerate a basic energy from your hand to one of your Pokemon. Stage two, however, filling your deck up with stage twos. I don't think this card will see play, but maybe there's a, a huge big basic that wants to make use of energy acceleration, then maybe we might see it in action. Yeah, I'm getting the trick of this. Scarlet and Violet in the house. Mareep, Bisharp, Vitality Band is back for some reason. Toxtricity, Mousehold, <laughs> crazy Pokemon. Um, energy, then there's the first rod, reverse, small if. Second reverse is Primeape, and the rare is Cloth. Just a classic Pokemon with vanilla damage output. Okay, won't he play? We're almost, almost halfway through the box. Hopefully you guys are having a fantastic time. Let me know what your favorite card is so far. So we can get a little bit of a discussion started. Tatsugiri, this is the card you need for that Dondozo. Jack again, Floragato, Energy, Coridon, 190 for four, four energies, a little bit harsh. Varum, which is you need for, to evolve into Reverum, and then the rare. Great Tusk EX. I would say it's a Donphan. It definitely looks like a Donphan, but it's like it's other alternate universe form or whatever. 
I wish they had like better names though, like Drape Tusk. Who, who even names these guys? It's like, oh, he has a tusk. It's, let's just call it Great Tusk. Why the hell not? Okay, four EXs and that funky alt art base. I don't even know if it's gonna be worth anything, but still putting it over here. Go Goat, Scatterbug, a whole bunch of weird stuff. Your Pokemon in play have no weakness. Okay, this Florgus can allow you to create a situation where you have no weakness. A 101 line with rare candy and movie max, and out of nowhere, Drapion is not bullying you any longer. Handauer, Starly, and Maridon. Unfortunately, this is not the Maridon we were looking for. Also, very bad attacks, like 30, and then 90, and 20 to one of your opponent's bench for three energies. Although, yes, we have Flaffy. Flaffy can accelerate as well as add a electric generator, which we have not pulled a lot of. To be honest, only one electric generator. Okay. Add a tight, energy surge, Bruxious, EXP share, another penny. Reverse number one is Rocky Helmet, seeing a reprint, electric generator, that's nice to pull. And the rare is Meowth Karada. Not great. We do get a second copy of Electric Generator. And then the last pack to uh, finish off half of the box. Half of the box done so far. Let's speed it up a little bit. Most arts we've already seen and talked about. Okay, now that we have some room, let's place them all over here. Our hits, the little dude over here. And let's continue. Handauer, Drifloon, a couple of cards we've seen before, not too relevant. What is this? Well-baked body. This Pokemon can be burned. Prevent all damage onto this Pokemon by attacks from your opponent's fire Pokemon. Very similar to something that Bronzong did in the past. So that means that if fire ever becomes busted, this is lovable, searchable as a way out. Tatsugiri, basic energy. Toadstool, Toadstool! What kind of Toadstool weirdness is this? Crazy. And the rare is Silazar. Just drawing two cards. Free retreat cost. That's the only thing worth noting about this card. You can draw cards and you have free retreat. Could be nice in the pre-release, I suppose. Okay, moving on. I'm right on the cover. That can only mean one thing. We deserve a Mariah. Let's do it. Cacnea. Bunch of cards we've seen before. This artwork is very similar to an older uh, Silly Cobra. Reverse Breep out. A hey, Alt Art Pow Powmot. All right, all right, and then we have <laughs> doubling up. It's the same card, by the way. So you have the hollow and then the alt art. Once during your turn, you may search your deck for a lightning energy card and attach it to this Pokemon. The problem is this is apparently a stage two. Apparently, so I don't think it'll see any competitive play whatsoever. Let's move along. We have 70 packs still left. And this is going to be a blast. Let's do it. Coridon on the cover. Great Tusk EX. I'm still battled by the name of specific Pokemon. Magical. Okay. Florgus again. Dolive. And Coridon. Coridon was on the cover, by the way. 70. And 190. This is just vanilla damage output. These will never see play in a quick format like this. And definitely with Lost Box around as well. Crown Rant Slap, Sableye, finish it off. They are just way more powerful than the cards they're uh, giving us here. Way more powerful. Vitality Band is back. And Annihilate! This actually does a reasonable amount of damage. 70 damage for each prize card your opponent has taken. So if they've taken four prize cards, you slap 280 for one energy. Wow. It's a stage two, 280 for one energy seems crazy. Maybe when Iona is around, which is like the new school N, but then combined with Marty, both players shuffle their hand to the deck and then put it on the bottom of the deck and then you draw equal the amount of prize cards you have remaining. 
and what does that indicate that if you have of course less remaining prize cards you can get back in the game with an annihilate let's go crushing hammer is back prepare pokeball and another king again king ambit still have no idea how to pronounce this one okay and uh, let me guys uh, yeah let me know are you going to the EOIC? Well, I see a lot of you guys there. I just actually got back home from playing the Utrecht special event. It was super cool, got uh, top 16. The Reggie Gigas deck is really treating me well this season. Reminds me a little bit of my Bolsafalon deck way before it. What is this? Arboliva. When you play this Pokemon to evolve one of your Pokemon, you may heal all damage from one of your Pokemon. Unfortunately, a stage two, so... Uh, or maybe a big basic uh, tanking Pokemon, then you heal off all the damage. Unfortunately, also don't have Scoop Up Net any longer, so this Arboliva will be like trapped on your bench and you cannot ever use it again. More common cards. Fortress, Rocky Helmet, Reverse 1, Reverse 2, and the rare is Maridon EX. Look at that. Uh, that is so sick. One of the better EXs, I think is probably the best one, right? This is the best EX from the set. It allows you to search your deck for two lightning Pokemon and put them on the bench. You can activate it when it's an active, it's on the bench, it doesn't matter. It's, it's gonna be awesome. You can use Maridon, it's also a stackable. Use Maridon, get another Maridon from deck, fill up your entire bench. It's very cool, paired up with Reggie Lucky V. So you can evolve that in Reggie Lucky VMAX and get your damage output to ridiculous numbers. And you have, of course, that electric generator to set it up. Very happy with this Maridon. It's been a long time coming, but this one is definitely a card I really wanted. Because I'm a lightning fanatic. You know. A lightning fanatic. Okay, what do we see here? Greedent is back. They are, they are printing a lot of greedents. Oh, what? It's Gardevoir EX Alt Art Shenanigans. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, this literally made the box. What in the world? Wow. Admire this beauty. Gardevoir EX Alt Art with Psychic Embrace. Listen to this. As often as you like, during your turn, you may attach a basic uh, psychic energy from your discard pile to one of your psychic Pokemon. And if you attach an energy, you get two damage counters. You cannot use this ability if you knock yourself out. So you can do it as often as you like. So if you have 10 energies in your discard pile, 10 psychic energies, you can use it for all 10 of them. It's so crazy. Gardevoir EX. Oh, that's how the box insanely gets better. Let's continue. Ooh, that was a sick pull. I'm so happy with that. Let's go. Some more common cards. Energy retrieval seemingly back. Ma Ma Bostiff. Once in your turn, you may uh, repel the opponent. Switch out your opponent's active Pokemon to their bench. Oh yes, repel or a one-sided escape rope. Point Cologne, Spiritomb. <laughs> This is very similar to uh, Jirachi or Cleaver or if you like flipping coins and knocking Pokemon out, it's nice. But without Glim with Tangle, you're going to have a lot of uh, hard times ahead of you. We have another Professor's Research and then Miriam joins the party. Second copy of Miriam, also rare candy, not too shabby. We continue. Wow, this is so cool. Every single... Uh, pack has a hollow and some reverses. It's super nice to be opening up Scarlet and Violet. I'm not gonna lie Okay, two reverses again and then Skeledurge 184 stage 2 Wow Remember that Charizard with from base set had like the highest HP for a long time like 120 just in like um, Combination with like Chansey and now stage 2's have 180 HP and they still cannot compete with how fast the format is. Alright, we are continuing. Ultra Ball was this Espartra. Okay, just a psychic attack. Arvin, yeah. Arvin is great. 
Ar Arvin allows you to get a Pokemon tool card and an item card. That actually allows you, for example, if you're playing Maridon, you can get four Seal Stoned and uh, electric, electric Generator. And so, very great card for sure. Let's uh, move these to the side and slap down Arvin or Avern. Oh wow, the pack was not even done. We have a Full Art Coridon EX. Wow. I was, uh, I was uh, explaining uh, Arvin, but this is insanely better. So we're getting the mascots, actually the legendaries. Let's go. Full art, cool looking card. We have two, four, six. No, two, four, six, yeah, seven. Seven EX cards so far with a lot of packs still left to go. Can we uh, get the best box ever? Looking like it. We have Slowbro, Pokemon Catcher, and Dondozo. Okay. Slowbro is cool though. Allows you as often as you like to move a damage counter to it. So, uh, first thing is the Fossil Slowbro. I know we're all getting a little bit older and a little bit wiser, but it only had like a low amount of hit points. But I like that Slowbro. Brings me back into Fossil days when I was just a little kid not knowing how to play cards. <laughs> Those were the days. Buying packs for the sake of it. Switch is also back. People were uh, scared that Switch would have rotated. Uh, we have Mega Mesagosa, allowing you to, of course, flip a coin if head, search your deck for a Pokemon. This is something that Lugia will definitely enjoy with, of course, the loss of cards like Evolution Incense. Okay, a couple of uh, uninteresting cards. Wow, wow, that Gardevoir is so epic. I don't even know how much it goes for because the set only comes out in two weeks, but I'm happy. I'm pretty happy. Or actually in 10 days, I would say. 10 days, not two weeks, but yeah. You get the point, right? This is an early opening. Heracross. I like Heracross as a Pokemon. 10 damage plus 30 more for each uh, energy in your opponent's retreat cost. Pair it up with some speed ups. Let's go. I always think I get like an insane hit because they, they are, all the cards are like shiny like that. Another Rebel Room. Rebel Room, you definitely need um, a 2 true line of. A 2 true line of Rebel Room is not bad. We also have that other Dondozo, I suppose. Dondozo, you actually need four if you want to make that one prize deck. And I'm also very scared to be uh, creating content on TCG Live because it doesn't feel the same like TCGO. So we as content creators are a little bit scared right now. Wiglet, alt art, and another Klefki. Let's go. Klefki is broken. You need as many Klefkis as you can get. Since I'm definitely making like all the post rotation decks, I don't need to train for EOIC. Oh, look at this card. Should I sleeve this one up? I probably should, right? Eh, I'll sleeve them up later. It's Wiglet. I don't know how much they go for these uh, funky alt arts. All right, we have four packs to go. So pretty much like a tin. It's been a while since I've opened a tin. Tins were like back in the days, kind of my thing to get like staple cards. Weasel. Okay. Clowitzer. Drifloon. And Bonnet EX. The best a man can get. <laughs> no, it's Bonnet EX. If you are uh, very good friends with Vikavolt, or if you like Item Lock, or even before it's Size Method, has the same thing going for a 30, and the opponent can play any item cards from their hand. The fun fact with Item Lock nowadays is that the opponent is still able to play tool cards. So Item Lock is uh, nerfed a little bit, and that makes it bad. Also, you have to evolve first, so that makes it also a little bit worse. Yeah, Bennett, we'll see where it goes. Also with Poltergeist, 60 dash for every trainer card in the opponent's hand. Bennett. Well, uh, maybe somebody can make Bennett work, but uh, I'm not a big fan of it. If you item lock, and we've seen before, if you item lock a lost box player, they literally are ready to scoop the game. Unless they go first and get everything going. Another King Abbott. King, King Abbott. King Gambit. I don't know. You don't know who, who even knows these days what the uh, correct pronunciation is of all these funky Pokemon. By the way, I only have two electric generators and one beach card. That doesn't feel right. It doesn't feel right. Miriam, third copy, Spiritomb, Ultra Ball. Watch! 
Holy moly! What and world? This is insane. This is insane. It's Gyarados EX Alt something something. Wow, <laughs> this is turning out to be the best box I've ever seen. Like we have gold, we have alt arts, full arts, two full arts. This is getting out of control and we have one pack left. Not a lot of great trainer cards, but we have a lot of hits. That's for sure. Definitely worth opening this box. Okay, Growlithe, Shuppet, Tandem Mouse, Smolith, a Beach Gorge, hurry ho. That's what we needed. Last pack magic. Okay. First reverse is a Flamingo. Is it actually Flam... Uh, I think it was actually called Flamingo, but it's actually called Flamigo. <laughs> Yo, I've never seen this Pokemon. Fidov, and the last rare of this box is Coridon. Okay. What can we conclude? This is the pulls we had. It's insane. Uh, it's These are like super, super crazy pulls. Like, for real. Well, <laughs> I couldn't be any happier. So, if you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to let me know by slapping the hell out of the like button. Helps out in ridiculous ways that support the channel. Go, of course, head over to Dragon Shield. Uh, there are links down below to, of course, buy sleeves to protect your beautiful cards. You also have binders. So, uh, thanks for watching today's video. Uh, there's going to be more post-rotation content up because... I'm done with uh, the regionals uh, in my region, so uh, we're gonna be focusing on hold on post rotation content with, of course, EYC on the horizon. Thank you for watching today. Slap the hell out of the like button if you enjoyed it. Subscribe for more daily content, and I'll see you guys sooner rather than later. Peace.